Number 10, combing your hair leads to excess electrons on the comb. How fast would you have to move the comb up and down to produce red light? All right, so one thing is red light, you have to know that the uh, red light basically has a wavelength of 700 nanometers, okay? Which would then be equivalent to 700 times 10 to the ninth, minus ninth, that is, um, meters, okay? Now it says the how fast would you have to move it up and down? So what they're not asking for actually meters per second. Up and down is known as an oscillation, okay? Or a cycle. What they want to know basically is the frequency or how many cycles there are per second, all right? So you're calculating frequency, you know the wavelength, and um, you know how do we do that? How are the two related? Well, they're related via the formula that the velocity of the wave will equal the uh, frequency of the wave multiplied by the wavelength. So if I want to find the frequency, divide out the wavelength from both sides. So it works out to be velocity of a wavelength. Now what's the velocity? Well, red light, visible light, is an electromagnetic wave. We're assuming that this is traveling in a vacuum, all right, which is very close to air. But uh, we're going to use the value of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, all right, for the speed of light in a vacuum. So, well, actually, this is speed, yeah, speed of light in a vacuum. All right, so this is going to be 3 uh, times 10 to the 8, all over then the wavelength of 700 times 10 to the minus 9th. And all we simply now need to do is to take out the calculator and calculate. So 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 700 times 10 to the minus 9th. So notice the question isn't hard. 4.29 times 10 to the 14th hertz. All right. So notice it's not difficult. Um, but, uh, you know, what it is is uh, it's difficult to kind of know what the heck they want. Right. So once you know they're calculating for frequency, I think it becomes easy. So you'd have to move your comb up and down at, uh, you know, 4 times 10 to the 14th cycles per second, which is, um, I don't know, kind of crazy, right? What would that even be? Four, 429 trillion? Something like that. No. 42.9 trillion? Yeah, 42.9 trillion times. So, good luck. Take care.